now welcome back to my kitchen kati kati is in the house guys kati kati is one of the most ancient and distinctive dishes of the Nkom people in the northwest province of cameroon it is simply an african grilled chicken way of preparing chicken then saute to perfect with the right blend of spices to give you a lip smacking chicken dish are you ready for some finger licking chicken the african style let's get right to it guys so as you can see to begin the katikati guys we'll be needing some fresh chopped chicken guys this is live chicken okay that i slaughtered cleaned and cut into my preferred sizes my sizes here are a little big but you can go with smaller sizes it all depends on how you prefer the size of your chicken to be okay we need palm oil you can never do kati kati without palm oil guys yeah guys i've got cameroon pepper i've got some country onions and some um country pepper yes country pepper and country onions i'll be using two country onions some tomatoes okay guys i will also be needing some chili onions and some nut cube guys do not forget your salt okay yes guys let's get cooking kati kati oh my god i can't wait <laughs> so let's prepare our spices but before we do that guys we have to grill the chicken back in the village guys they will put this under under hot flame okay to burn it but guys here yeah, i'm using my oven and i'm also using my my grill my electric grill okay just so that i will do it faster so i'm just going to put some few pieces in my oven like so and my oven will be on high so that i can at least achieve that kati kati flavor guys this is a trick to give your chicken that distinctive kati kati flavor you can never skip this step okay guys yes so we are just going to cover this and let it do its work meanwhile next to it i have my grill i'm going to be grilling it as well guys you have to be very very patient with this step okay do not burn your hand do not copy me do not burn your hands guys so now i'm just going to flip over and roast the other side remember i told you kati kati is african grilled chicken but we grill the chicken before we cook it also guys I will be cooking my kati kati in the oven because I don't have time. I want to go to work, okay? So by the time I come back, this kati kati will be ready. I will just leave it in the oven, go do a little bit of my rounds. By the time I come back, the kati kati will be ready. That's why I want to make it in the oven. But usually they make it on the on the stove stop top or on the fire, okay? Why stirring continuously? But I'm going to cut my own short. This is my version. It tastes good. It smells awesome. Okay, guys. So just follow me and see how I prepare my kati kati in the oven. Guys, my chicken has been grilling, and you can see it has been it has grilled to perfection. Okay. Yes. This is what we're looking for. This golden brown grill color okay now i'm going to prepare my spices for the kati kati you can see my chicken is well grilled it's ready now i'm just going to put that in my oven pan remember when i was grilling this chicken in the oven there is some liquid that was dropping out from the chicken that is the chicken stock 
I am going to incorporate that and use it to cook my kati kati. Guys, wow! This kati kati, ne, before I finish cooking it, hungry faces were already looking at me. Mama, 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 mama. But for the sake of my video, guys, I had to just take my time and take the, the, the picture for the thumbnail. Otherwise, they were gonna swallow me and the kati kati together. So you can see here in my blender, I have some onions. Now I'm going in with the Cameroon pepper. Guys, Cameroon pepper smells good on its own. You get this from any Nigerian shop. I also added in my country onions. Now I'm going to add in the chopped tomatoes. Guys, you need tomato for kati kati because usually they just cook kati kati with oil. Guys, you need at least something for, for, to, for, for a base to make that sauce for you to swallow your fufu corn, okay? Yeah, guys, I was using my 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 stone, my pepper stone to, to grind the country onions. Now I am adding the country onions inside my blender, okay? And also, I will not be needing water to blend my ingredients because the tomato there is already soft the tomato will add will, will help me to moisturize the other ingredients so that i can blend them smoothly okay so guys after blending my spices now i'm just going to add that inside my kati kati and i will give it a good stir so it will coat properly with other spices okay guys yes I will go in with my salt and my nut cube and with my palm oil guys I'm adding the palm oil at this stage because I'm using the oven if you are using your top stove go ahead and heat up the oil a little bit then you fry your grilled chicken inside the oil before adding the rest of the ingredients that is the proper way to cook kati kati but guys there is nothing wrong in doing something different okay that's why I'm doing my the way you see me do it see the stock from the chicken I'm pouring in that okay it's going to help me cook the kati kati palm oil ah, guys there's no other oil that can replace palm oil in kati kati believe you me now i'm just mixing that to coat it properly then i'll cover this with foil pepper and I will let it cook in the oven. Guys, I let it cook for about two hours. Yes, that's how long I cooked it because this is country fowl, okay? Yes, this is the whole layer chicken. It's hard and tasty. You can also use the soft chicken from the shops, but I doubt if it will give you that real cutty cutty taste that you desire, okay? So now I'm going to cover this and I will let it cook in the oven in its own juices with the palm oil. <laughs> Guys, this is kati kati oh, no joke. <laughs>
kati kati cooked in the oven guys now i will let this cook while i go do my other things okay yes guys our kati kati has been cooking for about one hour 30 minutes or so okay oh la la guys look at that the tomato beneath the kati kati didn't burn the oil is looking brighter the kati kati is now well cooked and the dish guys smells like i don't know how i can explain it guys you just need to go ahead and prepare kati kati for yourself and experience what i am experiencing right now if you are new to my channel i want to say welcome go ahead and hit the subscribe button next to the subscribe button guys you will see the notification bell click that one as well so you get notified each time i upload a new video guys if you are a return subscriber welcome go ahead and continue to support your girl okay so guys our kati cat is ready i will be serving it with some fufu and jama jama guys for my fufu you can notice it's not really white it's not pap as per se yeah i used oatmeal okay which i blended i'm going to do a video on how i prepare my fufu this is a healthier substitute to the irregular corn fufu that we eat but back home we eat kati kati with corn fufu okay and jama jama guys join me and let's dig in okay that will be all from me today guys until next time when i come your way with another yummy recipe i'm checking out guys but please do stay safe stay healthy okay bye